Hello everyone, welcome to It's All About Economics and today's topic is Public and Private Finance from Unit 1A and Paper Public Finance and International Trade. I'm Suraj Sharma. For more details, you can email me or you can text me. Uh, so moving ahead with the objectives of the class in last class we have gone through what is public finance and the scope of it uh, then we move ahead to subject matter of public finance uh, functions of a state and effects of fiscal operations on economy and society as a whole in this particular class we would be focusing on what is public and private finance first and then moving ahead to basic similarities and differences in these two uh, so we'll start with what public and private finance is. So first of all, as we have already mentioned in last class that what is public finance is. Public finance deals with the way in which the state acquires and expands its means of subsistence. Here state means the government. Public finance may be defined as the science uh, which deals with the activity of the statements in obtaining and applying the material means necessary for fulfilling the proper functions of the state. So Mm, all in all, as you can see that in both uh, the definitions, we can see uh, here everything is related to state or the government as far as public finance is concerned. So finances that deals with uh, the finances of the state or the government is actually the public finance. As far as private finance is concerned, it deals with the finances of private entities. So the basic difference between the two is uh, the first is actually related to the finances of a state or the government and the later is related to the finances of private entities. These private entities may be individuals, households or business firms. Now, uh, coming to the comparison of these two, why the comparison is, uh, is so important? Uh, it is actually, uh, it, it helps us to know and differentiate between the aims, objectives and methods of finances for both. So this, this is why we are actually comparing uh, public and private finance uh, as what are the basic similarities and what are the differences between these two. So now moving ahead uh, with finances. Uh, so finance may be of two types. First is public finance and the other is private finance. Public finance is having stakeholders like government or a state and public enterprises or public corporations. As far as private finance is concerned, we can have stakeholders like personal finance, households, individuals or business finance or business firms. Now, the subject matter of public finance is related to public revenue, public expenditure, public debt, budget policy of the government and the fiscal policy of government. Uh, as far as private finance is concerned, it is related to savings accounts of individuals, insurance policies, uh, consumer loans, stock market investments of individuals or business firms, retirement plans uh, and credit or debit cards, uh, etc. So these are related to uh, private finance. Now coming back to the similarities, uh, First of all, both actually aims at maximizing satisfaction of wants, either it is personal or social. Both the state as well as individual aim at the satisfaction of human wants through their financial operations. The individuals spend their income to satisfy their personal wants, whereas the state is spent for the satisfaction of the communal or social wants. So this is the basic uh, similarity between the two. Next, at times, uh, both may depend upon borrowings. Both the state and individual at times have to depend on borrowings when their expenditure are greater than their incomes. The third is both aims at balancing their income and expenditure. These are actually the budgetary fun uh, functions. So both public finance and private finance have income and expenditure. The ultimate aim of both is to balance their income and expenditure. So this may be balanced uh, 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 having it, it. You may have borrowings in place if you have um, expenditure more than your income. And if you have more income than your expenditure, then you may have surplus budget. But most of the time, uh, both actually aims at balancing their income. So, uh, it means equalizing income with expenditure or expenditure with income. Now, the third thing, uh, fourth thing is guiding principle here is rationality. 
in both the cases what what does it mean uh, actually maximizing the benefits either it is personal in case of private finance and uh, social in case of public finance so for both kinds of finances the guiding principle is rationality rationality is in the sense that maximization of personal benefits and social benefits through corresponding expenditure the fifth one is concerned with the problem of economic choice what economic choice here is actually trying to satisfy unlimited wants with scarce resources having alternative uses because we have scarce resources which can be used alternatively and we uh, have to decide whether to choose one or the other so we choose that um, uh, uh, one that will give us maximum satisfaction uh, of our unlimited wants so both are concerned with the problem of economic choice that is uh, they actually try to satisfy unlimited uh, ends with scarce resources having alternative uses so this is the problem of economic choice coming back to the dissimilarities of public finance and uh, we'll go with first of all uh, the expenditure in case of public finance expenditure is actually determined first and then uh, we actually decide uh, the means to raise funds or revenues so in case of public finance what actually uh, we see that here the expenditure is determined first because government will have to think from the point of view of social benefit or society's benefit so government decides its expenditure first and then government try to actually uh, see the ways and means to raise funds in case of private finance expenditure is actually adjusted uh, according to the income because in case of individual finance or business firms uh, and for households it is not possible to um, spend beyond the limit of their income and if they are spending it they will have to borrow it from a, from uh, other sources and it's very costly to borrow from other sources for a private individual so they decide or they adjust their expenditure according to the income this is the basic difference so the private individual has had has to adjust his expenditure to his income uh, his expenditure is being determined by his income but on the other hand the government uh, first determines its expenditure and then the ways and means to raise necessary revenue to meet the expenditure now the next point is the government has a large or many sources of revenue uh, but as far as private finance is concerned it has limited sources of income so the government has large sources of revenue uh, than private individuals thus at times of financial difficulties the state can raise internal loans from its citizens as well as external loans from for foreign countries or for, from uh, international institutions in case of private individuals all borrowings are external in nature now the third point is uh, uh, state or government can print currency as an additional source of revenue but as far as private uh, finance or private individual is concerned it is not possible for individual or private entity so the state when hard pressed uh, can resort to printing of currency with the help of RBI as an additional source of revenue. In fact, during emergencies like war, it, it meets its increased financial obligations by printing new currency. Uh, but an individual cannot raise income by creating money. So deficit financing is possible in uh, in public finance, but in case of private finance, it is not possible. Uh, the fourth point is annual budgeting uh, in case of public finance there are annual budgets uh, which actually make balance between income and expenditure of uh, government or the state but in private finance uh, it is based on income or salary cycle uh, uh, maybe an individual is getting weekly wages or uh, or uh, uh, daily wages or it may be monthly income so uh, here the budgeting is actually based on on the period uh, of this cycle uh, 
um, so the state actually prepares its budgets or estimates its income and expenditure annually but there is no such limitations for an individual it may be for weekly monthly or it may be annually sometimes and our next point uh, is the basic difference between type of budget and it depends actually on the government government may decide uh, having surplus budget or having a deficit budget uh, whenever uh, the government or the state uh, um, spends more than this uh, more than its income uh, it's a type of budget that is called deficit uh, budget but in case uh, maybe uh, there there may be some governments or the state where uh, the expenditure is less than their uh, income and th that is called surplus budget uh, in private finance uh, mostly uh, surplus budget is preferred because an individual cannot survive uh, for a long time having uh, a deficit budget so a surplus budget is always good for an individual but surplus budgets may not be good for the government uh, it implies two things uh, first of all, the government is levying more taxes on the people uh, than is necessary. Uh, and the second one is the government is not spending as much as the uh, welfare of the people as it should. So um, if you see if the government is uh, a welfare state, then uh, most of the time the government uh, is actually spending more than its income and having, having a type of budget that is called deficit budget now uh, the difference is between the motive of expenditure here uh, in public finance the motive of expenditure is actually guided by welfare of the society as i've already mentioned that uh, uh, when uh, there is a motive of welfare of the society government will actually spend more than its income and will definitely be having a deficit uh, budget and uh, as far as private finance is concerned here the motive of expenditure is actually guided by individuals profit uh, now next moving ahead uh, here the expenditure is done to satisfy the sections of the society it means uh, the the aim or the objective of the expenditure is to satisfy uh, the wants of society uh, as a whole but as far as private finance is concerned here the expenditure is actually done or based on equi marginal utility what here equi marginal utility is uh, it is the law that states that a consumer should spend his limited income on different commodities in such a way uh, that the last rupee spent on each commodity yield him equal marginal utility in order to get maximum satisfaction. So a private uh, entity spend uh, its income uh, on the basis of this uh, law of equi marginal utility. But for government, it is not necessary to have this equity marginal utility uh, concept because government uh, decides its expenditure based on the needs of the society. Now, uh, as far as public finance is concerned, it is mm, have uh, it is actually having long term perspective on expenditure. Uh, but as far as uh, private finance is concerned, uh, uh, it is usually for shorter periods. So. Uh, because because here uh, individuals always seek quick returns so they save only uh, a small amount for future and spend more to satisfy their current needs but uh, individual tend to think more on present as they are dead in the long run similarly they seldom spend if it doesn't yield any more income on the other hand uh, if we see uh, a state or the government has a long run perspective of its expenditure it doesn't care only for immediate benefits uh, a state spends on projects having long gestation periods the burden of uh, taxation is borne by the uh, present generation in the interest of the long run welfare of the society or community similarly sometimes government may have to spend on uh, schemes which may not yield any uh, money income at all like public health and uh, uh, education and so on so here the perspective are different 
now as far as public finance is concerned uh, public spending has very large effect on economy and society as a whole but as far as individual or private finance is concerned individual spending has very limited impact on society as a whole but um, as uh, we can have uh, these micro can make macro impact on uh, economy also uh, so when uh, 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 there is a utility function which is actually adding up uh, for the society so that the society's uh, wants or or the needs are actually uh, the um, adding function of these individual spending so uh, in other words we can we can say that it has some impact on society but that impact is very little if we consider an individual uh, uh, entity now next one is uh, public finance is an open affair and uh, we can see that uh, uh, private finance uh, is secret one so uh, private finance is always a secret affair individual need not reveal their financial transactions to anyone we don't uh, actually reveal our um, income tax uh, returns to everyone as you know um, but public finance is an open affair government budget is widely discussed in the parliament and outside and pub, uh, public accountability is an important feature of public finance that is why we uh, actually have access to um, uh, economic surveys and budgets of governments um, for every year now uh, last but not the least it cannot uh, put up vital expenditures as far as public finance is concerned but um, in case of private finance we can post, uh, postpone uh, our expenditure so individual can plan to postpone their private expenditure but the state cannot afford to put off vital expenditure like defense for mean relief etc uh, as Fidler Sera says that compulsory character is an important uh, uh, feature of public finance uh, now um, in the uh, last both the public and private finance contribute towards country's economy and are interdependent on each other uh, neither can exist without the other so public and private finance are actually um, are the two parts of uh, of, of or one society or, or, or our government so thank you so much for being with me i hope you like it thank you so much